Kaka Wanju Nunak Mudich Kulanga. Wanju Wajak Buja. To all you awesome kids out there, welcome to this place that we call Wajak Buja. This is the place of my ancestors, and this is a place where I'm very excited to be reading a very special story for you. I want you all to know that reading can take you anywhere, and reading has taken me today to the Perth Zoo, where I'm going to be reading for you Stelephant by James Foley, a very beautiful book, and I've got two very special guests behind me, Trisha and Permai, who are eager to hear the story. Stelephant by James Foley. One ordinary Monday at 9am precisely, Stella walked into Space Command. Hello, she said. I'd like to become an astronaut. The man stopped clacking on his keyboard and looked up. But you're an elephant, said the man. I am, said Stella, holding out her application. But we've never had an elephant astronaut before, said the man. I know, said Stella. I would be the first. I'm sorry, said the man, but I don't think I can let an elephant be an astronaut. Imagine what would happen. We'd have all sorts of animals applying for approvals. But you have sent some animals to space, said Stella. The man nodded. Then why not an elephant? Asked Stella. I'm sorry, said the man, but the other animals were smaller. We don't make spacesuits in your size or shape. Unless you can find a spacesuit to fit you, I can't approve your application. So, Stella measured and stitched and tinkered until finally it was ready. Now can I be an astronaut? asked Stella. I'm sorry, said the man, but you'd need to complete basic training and we're just not set up to train elephants. You're too big. You'd break all our equipment. Unless you can find training somewhere else, I can't approve your application. So Stella found teachers and she studied and strengthened and practiced and prepared until finally she was ready. Now can I be an astronaut? asked Stella. I'm sorry, said the man, but our rockets aren't built to lift elephants. You're too heavy. Besides, you wouldn't even fit through the door. Unless you can find a rocket, I can't approve your application. So Stella sketched and tested and assembled until finally it was ready. Now can I be an astronaut? asked Stella. I'm sorry, said the man, but you would need a crew. And unfortunately, none of our other astronauts want to fly with an elephant. They say it's bad luck. They say it's too dangerous. They say something's bound to go wrong. Unless you can find a crew, I can't approve your application. So Stella gathered her friends and together they studied and strengthened and practiced and prepared until finally they were all ready. I have a crew, said Stella. Now can we be astronauts? The man didn't know what to do. Well, um, he said, I'll get my manager. The man's manager didn't know what to do. So he went and got his manager. The man's manager's manager didn't know either. So he went and got his manager. On and on this went until they ran out of managers. So they asked the big boss of Space Command. The big boss and all his managers sat at a long table to have a long talk about the elephant in the room. Why won't they approve my application, thought Stella. I've trained for this. I have a suit, a rocket and a crew. They have to let me be an astronaut. They have to. Then Stella realized that actually they didn't have to. She didn't need their approval. She had everything she needed already. We're going for launch. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. We have liftoff. 
And that's the story of Stelephant by James Foley. <laughs>